Hi friends, good evening. Uh, Manju here and welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So uh, in la my last video, I covered the ETL candidate introduction, project details and roles and responsibilities and uh, some high level validations. So how to crack the interview, how naturally a candidate can give a interview. Uh, so this is what uh, you saw the video and uh, today I'm moving to some special things like uh, the validations including the initial load or what is full load so uh, on this video on this concept we may go and learn some new special things okay so we heard in uh, sql and uh, in oracle so as we come into picture like uh, database or data warehouse especially in data warehouse uh, the loads are two types so initial load or full load and uh, uh, delta load or incremental load so the difference is that in simple way in single word in single sentence we can say that so initial load or full load is nothing but the first time data is loading into the data warehouse and the incremental load or delta load is nothing but uh, second time and onwards whatever the data is loading into data warehouse that is called as the incremental load or delta load so we go through that and learn concept clearly so this is what i made here in excel sheet the about full load or initial load uh, the details okay so as you are using here the etl tool do not confuse here the sql is different and oracle is totally different and we are using here etl tool as informatica for full load and initial load and also for incremental loads so okay please uh, clarify this first okay don't be confused that uh, all the things like sql oracle informatica so you don't mix all the things just we are keep in mind that in this video uh, regarding talking to uh, full load or initial load you must concentrate on etl tool like informatica okay so whenever so th this is what the table here okay i taken only this table of uh, three columns and five rows so first one is id name and price okay this is the id of items so this is unique and these are the names of the items and this is what the price of the item okay so here when you pull this table into informatica okay uh, so uh, about informatica i make uh, one separate video okay don't uh, uh, have confusion in uh, do, if you don't see informatica or informatica interfaces okay if you already seen that uh, informatica interfaces like uh, workflow designer workflow monitor workflow manager okay uh, don't be hurry and don't be confusion so just uh, concentrate about this concept you will learn in future okay in my videos so this is what the table here i want to pull in informatica and I want to apply some logics here, business logics. And uh, I want to clarify you people about uh, the full load or initial load details. So when I pull this table into the Informatica, so you get these records automatically. So what do you mean by surrogate key here? Surrogate key is a just business attribute. It's not a technical attribute. It's a business attribute and uh, the keys are in sequential manner and in incremental order and these are in numerical pattern and this surrogate key is automatically generated by etl tool like informatica so whenever you pull the table into the informatica okay so uh, with this there is some few more options or uh, records we have to maintain in uh, with the table that is informatica tool etl tool is uh, automatically do this that is what ETL effective start date and ETL effective end date, active row flag, version number and ETL effective, sorry, this is process date. I just forgot on to write here. This is what ETL effective process date. Okay, see here, one by one, you can see here, already I told that what is surrogate key. It is a business attribute which is generated automatically by ETL to like Informatica. It must be in sequential manner and incremental order and it must be in numerical pattern. Okay, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, these are the 
table data IDs and these are the names of items and these are the prices of the items. So this is what the date here. Okay, this is for example 25 12 2022 and this one is this one. Retail effective start date and retail effective process date are same because when we started the job okay in informatica tool then only uh, the date is same because the job was running our process so the date both data are same here and etl effective end date is higher than that of etl start date okay so one day higher here so then here also the etl effective start date and etl effective end date process date are same etl effective end date is higher than that of ETL effective start date. Okay, this is, I hope this is clear. And what is active row flag? So for newly inserted record, the active row flag is A. Okay, so that is what the thing. For first time or data entering into the data, uh, data warehouse, the active row flag is A. Okay, so for it is a first time entering data into data warehouse means it's a newly inserted record in data warehouse that is what the a is active row flag and version number is one okay so for example consider that uh, the same record okay this is what the same record uh, which i copy here and again i paste here and say for example the price is thirty-two thousand here so this is what called as updated record already it is present in data warehouse but th that record is updated here okay so this is what the second time the data entered into the data warehouse okay then what will be changes here okay so see here uh, this is what the 26 uh, 12 2022 etl effective end date and then this must be you just assume that 27 12 and this is what the thing here is 28 12 because ETL effective start date for updated record is higher than that of the previous record okay uh, this record and the ETL effective end date is higher than that of the ETL effective start date and this is same ETL effective process date is same as 27 12 2022 and this one is a because it is second time at present is it is inserted and this is this will become h because it it is historical data now so because already it is there previously so this one become historical data and this is become active present data so this is must be uh, like uh, two because it is incremental order the version number is in incremental fashion so this is what the concept here uh, understand this very clearly okay don't be confused so whatever the data first time entering into the data warehouse uh, the etl effective date and etl process date because job when job runs then only the start date is both are same and etl effective date is higher than that of etl process date uh, sorry start date and then the same record is again entering into the uh, data warehouse second time that is what updated record so here it is change is price and this becomes active record and this becomes historical record and the active row flag is in incremental order 2 and this becomes 6 because this is always in serial pattern surrogate key okay so the etl process date and etl start date are again same and etl effective date is higher than that of etl start date okay this is what uh, things are happening in etl tool so etl tool is nothing but informatica what uh, we are using here so when you pull the database table into the informatica these things automatically will get happen in informatica data warehouse okay so this is what the thing here this is called as full load or initial load so you don't consider this one okay for example purpose i just uh, informed you because i am just talking about uh, the full load or uh, initial load okay just you know up to here uh, in my next video i can uh, make about uh, incremental uh, load or what you can say delta load okay so this is what the thing is about full load or initial load then after this okay we have to perform high level validations like 
the record count validations and duplicate check and null value check these are the business logics okay so according to client requirement we should not uh, do all the things like high level validations what exactly the client required here so if client required uh, that uh, uh, informed in your uh, source target mapping document that uh, the whatever the duplicate records you just delete and provide me the report for on just simple example here so you have to do for the duplicate check here okay if you uh, recall count and duplicate check null value check and use minus query so to ensure that the whatever the data from source table is loaded into the target table then uh, you, you have to use this these things uh, whatever the initial load or full load okay so this is what the concept of uh, the initial load or full load i hope that you can understand this properly uh, so if you not understand it any point of video you just comment me in comment box so i can uh, again clarify by your messaging or else i can make some more uh, videos on this in detail okay so kindly uh, subscribe to my channels to get more videos about this and i hope uh, you are all are well and in good condition and happy with the things and uh, i will meet you next video uh, with more uh, technical videos like this as about sql oracle and detail testing so my next video will be about uh, the delta load or incremental load so don't miss the video uh, you will get some valuable concepts here in my videos uh, because i ha i am giving you a very clear crystal clear natural experience videos okay so uh, thank you very much uh, bye bye take care uh, we meet you next video thank you bye